Part A, Every Battering, and Live Action Media. Adam West had regular batarangs, explosive batarangs, as well as a bat rope batarang. Michael Keaton had a regular foldable batarang for his first movie that was upgraded into a computerized version with a control panel in the sequel. Val Kilmer also had two different versions, a regular foldable one and a high-tech sonar batarang that works with his sonar batsuit. For the Batman and Robin movie, both George Clooney and Chris O'Donnell had regular sharp batarangs and birdarangs in the shapes of their insignias. Christian Bale started off with a bat shuriken that complemented his ninja-like training, and in the sequel he had gauntlets that could launch smaller sharp bat blades from a distance. And there were also these miniature bat darts. The DCEU featured Ben Affleck's big fat batarangs that were also shown being held by some other superheroes like The Flash. Freddy owned a replica version that was turned into an electric batarang by Shazam. In Robert Pattinson's new Batman movie, his bat insignia can be detached and used as a blade, although we never see him throwing it like a batarang. The version of Batman is his tactical knife. It's actually stored as part of his chest plate and is actually his bat logo. Now let's move to the TV shows. In Titans, Ian Glenn's Batman used these smaller sharp angled batarangs while Robin's suit had an R-shaped emblem that functions as a detachable birdarang. In the Gotham series, David Mazous, as a young Bruce Wayne, once threw broken metal shrapnel which foreshadowed his future batarangs that we finally saw in the final episode when he assumed his Dark Knight persona. <laughs> CW's Batwoman TV series featured a whole bunch of different batarangs used by the Bat family mostly created by Luke Fox, who became Batwing himself. Also, during Crisis on Infinite Earths, Ray Palmer did a quick upgrade on Kate's Batarang, filling it with compressed light energy. Just charge your battery by compressed light energy. And way back in the early 2000s, the Birds of Prey TV show had the former Batgirl and the new Black Canary using a different shaped batarang that was round and shaped like a bird. Part B The Evolution of Catwoman in Live Action Media The first one would be the 1960s Batman with Adam West playing the caped crusader. His Catwoman from this universe of Earth-66 was played by three different actresses.
Next, we'll take a look at Tim Burton's 1992 movie, Batman Returns, starring Michael Keaton as the Dark Knight. In this universe of Earth-89, Catwoman was played by Michelle Pfeiffer. Our next entry is a bit different because we'll focus more on Batman and Catwoman's daughter instead. In the 2002 TV series, Ashley Scott plays Helena Kyle, aka Huntress, on Earth 203. Moving on, we've reached the Nolanverse with the 2012 movie The Dark Knight Returns starring Christian Bale as the titular character. His Catwoman is played by Anne Hathaway. Now, we'll take a look at a younger version of the couple in the Gotham TV series, starring David Mazouz as a young Bruce Wayne and Cameron Bicondova as a young Selina Kyle. Currently, the latest version of the couple can be seen in the 2022 movie The Batman, starring Robert Pattinson as Gotham's vengeful vigilante and Zoe Kravitz as Selina Kyle. And of course, we'll give some extra mentions of other versions of Catwoman and Batman that are shown without their significant other, such as Hayley Berry's Catwoman and Ben Affleck's Batman. Bonus fact, did you know that three Batman and three Catwoman have also played the role of a Marvel character? Part C, the live action evolution of every Batman villain. 
Joker in movies. Joker in TV shows. Penguin, Two-Face, Poison Ivy, Scarecrow, Deathstroke, Mr. Freeze, Deadshot, Ra's al Ghul, Riddler, Bane, Harley Quinn. Thank you for watching.